Hi guys, my name is Anthony Cummins and today we're going to work from this book, we're going to work from Book of Samurai and we're going to be turning to page 365. Um, now, this is chapter 25, Avoiding the Costume of Death. Now, the costume in death involves cutting the helmet cord and saddle girth shorter than normal and tying the cords of the arrow cape to your stirrups. So what does this mean? Right, as a samurai, basically, you cut, get, tie your helmet and cut the cord so you can't literally untie it. You'll cut the saddle girth down and you'll also cut, uh, you'll tie your horo cape down to your stirrups. Now, this means basically that a samurai is going to his death. It doesn't necessarily mean he has to die, it just means he intends to not come back alive. So what would this would mean is, if the army went forward and you'd cut these cords um, and the army lost and you retreated with the army, you'd look a bit of a fool for saying, I'm going to die. But if the army is victorious and there's no, you know, you've killed all the enemies or they've fl flown, then you can come back and it's fine. But the idea is that you are pretty much determined to die. You are, you are not going to come back until the enemy are either defeated, dead or you are dead. Um, However, there's also a twist side to this, what the oral tradition of Natoriyu tells us about, is that sometimes if somebody's got a grudge against the leader or so a grudge against someone in a higher position than them, uh, they may do this cords of death, uh, sorry, costume of death, and then go and kill somebody because they, on their own side, because they've got a grudge with them, because they know they will be killed for it. So it says if you see someone walking around the battle camp in a costume of death with you know their their things cut short, you know like you know apprehend them quick or inform someone that there's a problem going on, unless of course they're all going out to battle. <laughs> so you have to think this is very much inside of the warrior culture. This idea that you know um, no fear in front of the enemy, um, get ready to die at all costs and things like that. So what do you think, guys? Uh, you know, this sort of attitude in war, what's your opinion about it? Should people be suicidal, if you like, or to the point where they don't wish to come back, or they'll only come back if they're victorious, things like that? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and, and if you're interested in Samurai Warfare, don't forget, we're on Book of Samurai, and uh, there's loads of info in there, and we'll be going through more videos in the future.